Okay, so in this video, we're going to talk about the aortic arch. And really quick, if you remember, when we were talking about the heart, we said that basically coming off of the left ventricle, we had the aorta. If you may recall, we talked about the aortic valve being right here. So this is my left ventricle. It's my left ventricle, okay? And then what happens is with the aorta, it's my aorta, is it's gonna make a quick U-turn and then it's going to head down into the body. But before it does, it's going to have some branches coming off of here. Okay, and so this is what we're gonna talk about. So let's go ahead and look at the, the branches that are going to come off of here. We actually have one that goes this way, this way, and then out this way. So let's go ahead and take a look at these here. And really quick, we also have some that come off of down here. So let's go ahead and take a look at those. So if we look down here, and I'm gonna draw the aortic arch kind of small, because I need a lot of room up here. So if you draw writing on your paper, make sure you leave a lot of room at the top. What's going to happen with my aortic arch is this is this is basically the bottom of it. Imagine now I've removed it from the heart. I'm gonna take it like this. And we're going to go around like this. Okay, the first thing I have coming off the aorta is something called my right, my right and, um, coronary artery. So remember, around, an R and a round circle means right. This is going to be my coronary artery. Okay? And the coronary artery is going to go right back to the heart and give blood to the heart. Over here, I'm going to have my left coronary artery. I'm just going to put CA. Okay, so there's my left coronary artery. Now, if we look at the aortic arch, the first thing I'm going to have coming off is something called the brachiocephalic trunk. So brachio means arm. And cephalic means head. So this is the brachio. I'm gonna go like, it's all one word, but I'm just going to go like this because this is going to take a lot of room. Cephalic artery. That's going to be the first one to come off the aortic arch. So my brachiocephalic artery is going to go up like this. And then what it's going to do is it's going to have an artery come off of it that's going to go up into the head. And this is going to be known as my right common carotid artery. So this is my right common carotid. And this is going to go up into the head. Okay, that's my right common carotid artery. Then this is going to go on a little bit further. And I'm going to get something called my right vertebral artery. Okay, so this is going to be my right vertebral artery. And if you recall, when we studied bones, we said that the vertebral arteries go through the transverse foramen. So these are gonna actually go up and through the transverse foramen. The vertebral arteries go up and through the transverse foramen. And this is gonna be my right subclavian artery. Okay, and I'll write this out in, in a little bit. I just need more room. If we go on this side, we're gonna go like this. And coming off of here is going to be my left subclavian artery. So this is my left subclavian artery. All right, that's the left. And by the way, the reason they're called subclavian is because they go below, below the clavicle or your collarbone. So they come off to the heart and sub means below. Clavian is, is another term for just clavicle in this case. And so what happens is they go below your clavicle. Then on this side, and so like I said, over here I have the right subclavian artery, which is right here. 
Here I have the left subclavian artery. So you have both of these, okay? Um, and then this is going to be my left vertebral artery. And once again, these are going to go through the transverse processes on the cervical vertebrae. And, and like I said, when we're, doing, when we're doing the bones, we have those little openings on the transverse processes, and that's going to go through there. And then on the rest of my arch, I am going to get <laughs> this is going to be my left common carotid. artery. So if we look at, at, at this, if, if I were to ask you what comes off of the aortic arch, oops, and this should have been actually drawn down like this a little bit more to make it look more like an arch, so we don't have these. Okay, so if I were to ask you what comes off of my aortic arch, what you would say, but um, is the brachiocephalic artery, right? The brachiocephalic artery comes off the aortic arch. The left common carotid comes off the aortic arch. And the left subclavian comes off of the aortic arch. And in fact, I know I'm showing it up here, but I'm actually gonna have this go and it's all of this right here. Okay, and then coming off of there, I have my, coming off the left subclavian, I have the left vertebral. Coming off of the brachiocephalic, I have the right common carotid, and coming off of the um, vertebral, I'm coming off of the brachiocephalic, I also have the vertebral artery, and then it becomes the subclavian. So the left subclavian comes right off of the aorta. The right subclavian does not. The brachiocephalic does. Brachial mean an arm, cephalic mean an head. So let's let's try to clarify this a little bit more. So if we were to look at the three arteries, three arteries that come off of off of the aortic arch, we would say the first one is the brachiocephalic artery. Then the second one is going to be my left common carotid. Okay. The left common carotid artery. All right. That's my second one. And then my third one would be my left subclavian artery. Okay, so those are the three, that, three artists that come off of the aortic arch. Now, what I want to do is break these down real fast. So, once again, if this is my, the brachiocephalic, the, bra the brachiocephalic, Right, is going to go up and it's going to have the right common carotid come off. And the right vertebral artery. Okay, and again, this is the one that goes through the transverse processes, and then it becomes the right subclavian. Okay. 
Okay, that's that's those. The left common carotid at this point has nothing coming off of it. And then when we looked at the left subclavian, basically all we said is that it had the left vertebral artery coming off of it. Okay, the left vertebral artery is coming off of it. Okay, so, and this would be my left subclavian. And this would be my aortic arch. And just for the heck of it, I'm gonna draw it. This would be my left common carotid. And once again, this is my brachiocephalic, my right common carotid, and my right vertebral. And then my right subclavian. Okay. And that's, that's basically an overview of the aortic arch. And for the heck of it, let's put my right coronary artery and left coronary artery. Okay, and that's it for the aortic arch.